In today's video, I'm going to break down which is better, school or teachable. Now, these are both community building or course building platforms that you can build your online education on, and they both have pros and cons on each. So I'm going to go into both the pros and cons of school and teachable, and I'm going to show you which is best for you. Now, I've been in lots of different courses myself. I have also helped build them, so I have a good understanding of this topic. So let's get right into the video. Now, I just want to say if you want to join school or Teachable, there's going to be links down below in the description and they will give you some different offers depending on the link you click on. So go to the link in the description to join either school or Teachable. OK, so let's start off with school. So school is an education platform and it's a relatively new one in the game. It's kind of getting popular recently and it's getting popular for some really good reasons. So first of all, let me show you a little bit around it. I'm in the um, school community, which is the you know, the community that school has created. Um, this is like their official one here. And I'm going to break down a little bit of the different sections they have inside of their school. So first off, they have this community tab. And this is sort of like where people can post things. They can post questions. And you've also got, um, you know, some things here so you can segment it by different types of questions. So if I was to go ahead here and I clicked, um, I wanted to write something in here, I could put a title. I could write something, I could attach something, add a link, add a video, add a poll, emoji, gif, and I could select a category which it goes into. Now, this is really get great for your community building features. In the past, you would have had to use something like a Facebook group or you maybe had to use Discord. And while those two were good options, they're not built all in one place. And it's hard to kind of, it was hard to kind of build a community feeling in other course um, providing websites, I guess. So here what we can do, you can you know you can scroll down and we've got this guy asking a question here about adding custom code. And then we have people answering the questions here. So it means that if someone asks, asks this exact question again, they can put it into this search bar here. And this is going to come up, this, this, this one will come up here. So people don't have to ask the same questions over and over again. So it's a really cool feature. Again, they've got categories so you can categorize the questions so that people can um, browse based upon the category they're looking for. So this is really cool, adds a lot of community to it. Next up we have the classroom section and the classroom section is really cool. It's it's segmented into, we've got these different types of courses here and let me show you one of the courses. So in, inside this course here you have the different sets they're called and sets are basically the lessons and on here you can do a lot of different things. So you can add just text, these ones have got text, but you can also add links and stuff like that. You can also add videos, so the videos embed really nicely. Um, you haven't got any YouTube logos or anything like that. Um, they're really easy to, to use the videos in here. You can put like tons of different sections into, you know, your courses. This is obviously his first, his first course on school community. You can add pictures. You know, it's pretty easy to do. This this is actually teaching you how to actually use it. So in the past, when you had when you wanted to do like this these kind of features of a course, you would just usually have the video itself, and then that would be it. But here you can have videos, text, audio. There's so much you can actually do. Now over here we've got the calendar, and the calendar is great if you have you know weekly uh, calls. So you've got um, coaching calls. This is great because you can put it on here so people can see what time the call is in their own time zone. You can make changes to it and you can yeah it's just really easy for people to be able to see when a coaching call is or whatever you've got whatever event you've got on next we have members this is where you can see the members of a school not super useful but um you know it's good if you if you, if you want your school to network now something the school does really cool is it gamifies the learning process so over here it has like these different levels of what you've done in the community. So I'm a, I'm a level one noob. And as you go up, it has different levels and you get different things for it. And the idea of this is to help people engage in your community and engagement often helps build a community overall. So you can see that we have, you know, this guy here or this person here. So Jade Gemma, she is the number two person on this school. And she has obviously, um, you know, communicated, done a lot for this community. So she's up on the leaderboard. And this is cool because, you know, it means that she's posted a lot. It means she's helped people out. And it adds a whole community feel about school, which a lot of other platforms don't have. Now, you can see here they've added rewards for 
different levels. When you get up to this level here, GOAT, you get to visit the school HQ. So this is a really cool incentive to get people to, you know, um, engage in this community. Now, if I show you my own school here, um, this is sort of the About Us pages where you kind of send people to and you can have like a video here. I've got a video here. You can have um, like a banner. Um, you can set it to private. You can have your members there. This one says paid, even though mine isn't actually paid, which is strange. Then here you can um, put a description into it. So I have my community here and I've set this up for, I basically teach people how to do, get traffic with YouTube basically. Now inside of school is going to teach you, well, there's going to be lots of different options for your own school. So here it tells me my subscriptions and my MRR. So currently I have zero paid members, zero MRR. But if you had monthly recurring revenue and you had paid members in here, it'd tell you how many, it'd tell you how much you're going to make. Over here we have the payout section. So it tells you when you're going to get paid. And something that's cool about this is you can integrate this all into school, meaning that you don't have to kind of have your payment processor here, have your group here, have this here. You know, it's all in one place, which is really cool. You have invites here, so you can easily invite people. You can literally give them a link to invite them, which is cool. Over here, you can very easily change the um, icons and the cover photos for your school, which is very cool. Now, here is where you actually set up your subscriptions. You connect this straight to straight to Stripe, so this is going to be going straight into your bank account, which um, you know it's really good. It means that you don't have to faff around with all like Zapier and stuff like that to get it all connected up. It's going to work like this, where if someone wants to join, they have to set up their card details and they'll pay you straight into your bank account and they can join. And when they stop paying, they get kicked out of your group. So it's, it's, it's a really good system that works. We also have a few plugins here. Um, they're very basic for now. You can integrate it with Zapier, so you've got a lot more um, stuff you can do. But they have like the auto DM new members section here, which is great. So when a new member joins, you can auto DM them a message, which is really good for getting them engaged, especially if you've got a free group. We've also got a lot of like analytics here. So this is just data about the growth of my school over the last, well, couple of weeks. And um, it tells you what percent were active, all that kind of stuff. So it's quite interesting uh, metrics to look at. Here we have the gamification section that I spoke about before. You can basically set all the gamification options here. This is really good for getting your community engaged. And then lastly down here we have the billing and referrals. So this basically means how much you are earning, well, how, where you're paying your um, for your school. So you set up your billing and stuff in there obviously. And you've got the referral links, you can earn money from referrals. So let's talk about how much school actually is per month. So school is $99 per month and you get all of this stuff that's included. And although it might seem like a bit of money, it's actually really worth it. You get so much support. It's very, very easy to build your community all in one place. And, you know, all of the different things you would have to have to have a course usually. So you'd have to have a website, you'd have to have payment processing, you'd have to have all of these different things, Zapier. It's all in one place. So it's actually cheaper overall. And it's a much better place and so much easier to grow your platform than a lot of other places. So that's basically everything about school. I think it's a very good platform. And if you want to go ahead and join school and get a free 14 day trial, there's a link in the description that gives you 14 days completely for free. So you can give it a try. And I'd recommend just going sign up with that and just, just, you know, try it out a little bit because it is very, very good. So now let's talk about Teachable. So let's jump into Teachable here. And first of all, the one thing I'd say with Teachable is I have helped other people in the past set up their Teachables. And unlike school, you have to set up things in different places. So I had a client who I made a website for and he wanted a Teachable connected to it. And what I had to do is I had to set up the, the website and then I had to set up some external payment processing. So they had to make a Stripe payment or checkout. And then from there, I had to set up a Zapier that would automatically get them to join into here. Now that was a bit of a hassle and it wouldn't have worked with monthly recurring revenue. I don't even know how I would go about doing it for sort of a subscription school. But here inside of school, these are the products that they offer. So we've got online course. So we can select that we want to do an online course. We can do digital product, coaching or community. Now community is just, um, this is on the basic plan above. So you have to pay for this. The rest are free. So click continue here. And this is what's going to look like when you start setting it up. So we can start building here and we can put a course title in here. So I'll just say course one. And let's build from scratch. Now you can see straight away, it's there's so much more to this. Like 
um there is so much more going on it's it's way more complicated you've got um you've got all these different elements here and it's just it's just way more cluttered and complicated than school is now it has all the same features to some degree like pretty much the features are all the same um but it's just not as user friendly as you can see when we had school with school you could basically just um you know it's all here in one place it's very simple to use here there's like a million different tabs you've got this tab here this 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 i don't even know what half of these do like dashboard curriculum design template certificate information pricing you got so much stuff here that's just it's so not condensed it's so everywhere and it doesn't make it super easy to use so if i preview what it actually looks like on school this on itself doesn't look too bad and you can mark completion when you've completed a course and stuff like that which is quite cool I'm not sure what's happened there. Now, something else that Teachable doesn't do very well, I don't think, is it's just the community-based aspects of it are just not there. It feels old. It feels outdated. It doesn't feel like it's a unique experience. It just it doesn't feel... It just feels outdated, really. Now, to look at the pricing, here's the pricing here. It is a little bit cheaper for the basic plan, so it's 39 a month. And with that, you get 5% transaction fee. So, you know, you're paying more in fees. So it can be more expensive overall. Um, five published products of each type, each type. So you you with school, if you pay for um the plan, you get as many as you want. Community, so you get a community there. I don't think it's as good. Integrated email marketing. So this is quite a cool one. Um, school also does integrate your email marketing, but this is also pretty cool. Coupons and order bumps. So basically upsell stuff like that. Custom domain. So that's cool. You can have a custom domain on your. School teachable whereas with school you can't have a custom domain so this is a good benefit of this one and accelerator challenge access so this is basically their like um their sort of mastermind to teach you how to get a uh, teachable up and running basically now if you're going to be getting all of the features that you basically would get on um uh, school you're going to be looking at around this price range or this price range so 150 a month to 250 a month and for the basic plan, it is $60 a month. So it's kind of, it's slightly similarly priced. I mean, you can go cheaper if you want basic stuff, but for the features that you're offered here, it's more expensive overall. That's basically the difference between them. In my opinion, school is better. It's more modern. It's more usable. It's more fun. And the community aspects are way better. But let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. And also, as I said, if you want to join school, there's a link down below. And if you want to join Teachable, there's a link down below. I'd recommend school. They give you a 14-day free trial. And it's going to be a bigger one, in my opinion, in the future and easier to use. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.